was a rushing touchdown by Patrick Mahomes there. The Jim Nance call uh, against the Tennessee Titans in the AFC Championship game. One of many amazing Patrick Mahomes highlights from a Chiefs Super Bowl run. First one uh, in a long, long time. And uh, the reason why the Kansas City Chiefs were not afraid to give Patrick Mahomes the 2000. An 18 NFL MVP and the consensus best player in professional football, a 10 year contract uh, that was leaked out on Monday afternoon. I'm Will Brinson. This is the Pick Six Podcast. It's an emergency. Patrick Mahomes got paid podcast uh, along with my NFL super friends. We're down to three now. Sean White and McGuff. I, height of irony that Patrick Mahomes gets paid after Sean quits the show and CBS and gets unfollowed by us on Twitter. Check out his Twitter feed if you want to get on that action. Everyone here should also unfollow him. If you listen to the show, go unfollow Sean. We are going to make his life miserable before following him back. Uh, but now, to talk about Patrick Mahomes joining me, uh, as they do for much NFL news, and also on YouTube. You can check us out on YouTube. Uh, go subscribe to the Pick 6 Podcast on YouTube. John Breach, Ryan Wilson. What's happening, fellas? Ten years! Uh, I wish I was related to Patrick Mahomes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Get in on some Dude, of that. Would it be worth it? Would you? I'll, I'll would be, be honest. Would you be related to him if you had to be like his his like his girlfriend's like brother? Because I don't know that I'd want to deal with her. I thought you were going to say there used to be a time, probably ten or fifteen years ago. Debo actually might remember this. The early days of, of P Diddy being famous, there was a guy who walked around with him and held an umbrella over his over his head wherever he went. <laughs> I would do that for Patrick Mahomes for for sure. a south. Yeah, easily. Absolutely. Uh, Mahomes' is tenure deal, no numbers out as we're recording this emergency podcast. Uh, th- we were recording this around 3.30, 4 o'clock on Monday afternoon. The podcast will be in the feed, of course. We'll also be doing defensive line and edge rankings with Ryan Wilson tomorrow. You can check that out. We have a mailbag up today where we say farewell to Sean. Uh, you can check that in the feed. But it is reported by Adam Schefter of ESPN that while there are no official numbers for Patrick Mahomes, multiple sources believe it will ultimately be tied to a percentage Percentage of the calorie, sal- the calorie sap, the salary cap for each season. The higher the cap goes, the more Mahomes will make. I-, I will be very fascinated to see how that works from an accounting standpoint. Golly, I wish we had or- known about. I wish Schefter tweeted this out earlier. We could do the math because I wonder what the for the top five quarterbacks right now: Russell Wilson, Big Ben, Jared Goff, Aaron Rodgers, Kirk Cousins. What percent of their salary is of the current salary cap? That's a question we should. I would love to have an answer to, but we, we another should. classic Ryan Wilson question where he asks, he asks a know, very part complex of the, part of the reason I put that out there. So people can't come back and say, Hey dummy, why don't you do that? We literally just saw this tweet as we're doing this. So that's why, but I will do it after the podcast. And then- well, I can tell you right now that Dak Prescott, I think has a 31 point something million dollar cap hit. Is that the highest in the NFL? Mm. And that, yeah, it sure is. That eats up about 16% of the Cowboys salary cap. And that is a high number. And if you look at the numbers, if this is tied to the percentage of the salary cap, I would think it has to be at least 20%. Because look, if you have a $200 million salary cap, that pays Mahomes $40 million. If somehow the salary cap gets to 300 million by 2030, all of a sudden he's making 60 million. Uh, And the one interesting thing, let's just say it is 16%. Here is a fun fact that I got because I expected Ryan to ask a question that we wouldn't have the answer to. But because I saw it coming, uh, I kind of got prepared for it. The highest salary cap hit that a Super Bowl winning quarterback has ever had is 13.1%. So they're tying up 20%. How did you find that stat? Because I'm really good at finding Because he's prepared. By the way, Jason Lockham. He stole it from somebody on Twitter. At least credit him. I did not steal from someone on Twitter. I, I had the research ready to go, man. So listen, JLC. Hey, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You had that research ready to go, and you didn't mention it once on CBS Sports HQ. I was looking it up. I was looking it up while we were on HQ. We uh, we had 15 minutes between the end of HQ and the start of this podcast when I was able to get the numbers. I would say too, Russell Wilson, 13.5 uh, percent of the Seahawks salary cap. If we're using, which I assume we would, their cap number. Right, we're not using right, like, right. You know, not using, their salary, using, their cap yeah, number. Using no their piggyback cap. off of off of Breach hard work. Just let me say this quickly, please. Sean's gone, but as someone points out, Brinson's still here interrupting people. Jason Lockham Ford tweeted out at three fifty six as we do this podcast on Monday. Um, the contract for Patrick Mahomes will be guided by a mechanism that ensures the quarterback's annual salary never drops below a certain cap threshold. Will always be above a certain percent of the cap as well. So there's not going to be 
Uh, there could be some variation in terms of uh, whether it's 20% one year, 18% another year, but it won't be below some, some number that, that, that the two sides have, have agreed upon as well. So there you go. I would almost bet that I wouldn't be surprised if it, so like, do you really, I don't know if you have to give him a deal where he gets 16% of the salary cap every year. What you could do is right. say, we're giving you 30 million a year plus X percent of the cap. Like that would make more sense, right? That's also an option. Sure. So who'd you, who'd you steal that from on Twitter? I mean, that's just something I came with my own. Oh, wait. So, so like, let's say, all right. So let's say Patrick Mahomes gets, gets a 30, let's say, just for simplicity's sake, let's say a $30 million base hey. salary, right? Well, then the Chiefs say, here's the deal. We'll give you, in addition to your $30 million base salary, um, 5% of the salary cap tacked on, of our salary cap tacked onto that. So you have $30 million plus the five plus the five percent this year that would get you to 40 million dollars even and so if the cap went up to um so let's say the cap goes up to 225 million right uh then all of a sudden you're looking at an additional 12 million or 11 million or something like that so i mean maybe that's not enough maybe they didn't move it up enough but that that to me would make more sense than just saying you're going to make 15 percent of the salary cap Although for budgeting purposes, I guess this isn't the worst thing in the world, right? Well, I mean, you can also do the math. What's $30 million of your salary cap and whatever that is, plus the 5%, it may come out to be something close to what we were talking about. But yeah. yeah no, I think it would. I mean, it would come out to me, if, if you're getting if you're getting 40, right? I mean, what's, I mean, 40% of the salary cap, if it's, uh, what is it, $198 million this year, is 20%. Or $40, $40 million is 20% of the salary cap. Yeah. Um, so, sure. I mean, I, I just think... I think the Chiefs would like to keep it under twenty percent. Uh, that's that is a lot to be to be using. Well, so they, it could be variable from one year to the next as well. Does anyone? We talked about this for the last hour now. It seems like anyone think this is a bad idea, ten year deal on any level? No, no. not at all. No, you got to do this. Is, this is a no brainer for the Chiefs because look, you have the best quarterback in NFL history who, who could potentially be the best quarterback in NFL history. You haven't walked up. For 12 years, that's an insane amount of time. You don't have to worry about contract negotiations. All you have to do is worry about building a roster around him. And the thing is, you know the money you have to work with for the next 12 years to build that roster. Because yeah. usually the biggest headache is you're trying to get a quarterback under contract. You don't know what a salary cap is going gonna, is gonna to be. Sometimes it could be a Jared Goff deal where you take a, a couple big hits at the beginning of the deal. It could be like Tom Brady where – uh, you know, the Patriots are taking that $13.5 million cap hit, even though he's not on the roster this year. So there's all these weird scenarios. But with the Chiefs, you know exactly where you stand for the next 12 years. And now you just put the team around him. Uh, you know, worst case scenario, he gets injured. But I think there'll be some sort of injury out like there always is. He'll get his, you know, his guarantee guarantees that he gets as soon as he signs a contract. Uh, so I, I think this is just an amazing deal for the Chiefs. And, uh, you know, if Mahomes is happy, I think that was the weirder part that a player agreed to sign a deal that long because you never see that. It rarely happens. We've only seen four deals of 10 years or longer in NFL history, uh, and Mahomes now makes that five. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, in his career, has a 78 win percentage. 78. He's won 78% of his games. He that is uh, second in the NFL uh, of all quarterbacks in the Super Bowl era with a minimum of 1,000 attempts. He has 300. He averages 302.4 passing yards per game. That is first in that category. He averages 8.5 passing yards per attempt. That is first in that category. 89 touchdowns and 20 interceptions. First in that category. And a 108.6 passer rating. First in that category. He is. Only two years into his career as a starter. He also played, of course, that final year, final game against the Broncos in 2017 when he was a rookie. But he is, he is the best player in football. He is one of the most talented quarterbacks I have ever seen play football in. And I, you know, I'm four, almost four, I'm 39 years old, watched a lot of football, covered the league for 10 years. If you told me, if you told me right now, like, what, right, what would the odds be? All right, let's say, Breach, uh, that I set the odds. You guys can bet on this. Patrick Mahomes is a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Yes, minus 1,000, no, plus 500. What would you bet on? Yes. 
Yeah, at the end of his career, or like if he, he retired cool. right now. No, no, he wouldn't. Yeah. Be, he wouldn't be if he retired right now. Yes. Well, he's got an M- NFL MVP, Super Bowl MVP. Through fifty touchdowns. Mean, he'd have a, you know, he, he he wouldn't get in, but like he only needs. I mean, if he plays out this contract at the level that he has played so far in his career, he's a slam dunk Hall of Famer. Yeah, not question. I'm, I'm just saying, like, that's how good it, it, it's. We use a lot of hyperbole when we talk sports in 2020. A lot of hyperbole when we talk about anything. But Patrick Mahomes very easily could be the greatest quarterback of all time. And I don't think anybody right. would blink if you told him that in 20 years. Well, yeah, let's wait on that. I'm not willing to go that far. But, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, to your point, though, and we talked about this in HQ, the three of us, uh, we didn't know the terms of the deal. Um, Brees just pointed out that Adam Schefter tweeted that the deal's worth over $400 million in total. The question is how much more. I think we all agreed that if it were $500 million, no one would be averse to that. How high are you willing to go, Breach, to, to pay Patrick Mahomes the 10-year extension, not a 10-year deal? I said on HQ that if it came out that this contract was worth 10 years, $1 billion, if we went full Dr. Evil here, I think some people would actually be like, that's not that crazy for Patrick Mahomes. Because, look, then, you know, you have $100 million or $150 million to build the rest of your roster. But if you think Patrick Mahomes alone is getting you to eight wins every year, uh, I just – I think – this is one of those things where you can plug and play almost any number and make the argument that it makes sense. If, if for instance, he's saying that this guy could be end up as the best quarterback in NFL history, Hall of Famer, uh, then there isn't. I, I don't think a billion dollars would have been that crazy. That probably would have been my limit. Uh, anything over that would have been like, eh, maybe you just go get Dak Prescott for cheap. Um, I, well, we'll maybe go get, maybe go get Andy Dalton for $3 million yeah. a year. But yeah. anything under 10 years in a bit, one billion, like that's not that one crazy. Billion dollars. One billion. I don't even hate the idea. By the way, Mahomes, uh, I believe this is courtesy of our crack research team here at CBSSports.com. Uh, if he, his pace, if he doesn't miss a start through, through 2031, which is when they have the Chiefs have him under contract for, uh, that would be 234 starts. Now, of course, these records get thrown out of whack because in 2021, you're going to go to 17 games, uh, but he would be fourth all time in completions, sixth all time in pass attempts, fourth all time in passing yards, first all time in passing touchdowns, and first all time in QB rating. Uh, the only players exceeding these totals in any of the categories Brett Favre, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and Dan Marino. That would, one thing, one thing Patrick Mahomes, by the way, when we're talking about that through 2031, he'll be 34. I mean, the way we're going with science, he could, I mean, he could be halfway through his career at that point. Unfortunately, the way we're going with Earth, I uh, probably won't see the end of this deal. One thing I was thinking about uh, as you were talking and Breach was going over the numbers, how soon into this 10-year extension and if he's able to play at a high level for another 15 years, is he going to want to re- renegotiate this? Because we got some quarterbacks coming down the pipe that are going to get paid. We've got quarterbacks that aren't even in the league yet. They're going to be making more than Patrick Mahomes in seven years. Well, I think, Ryan, that is the part of tying this to the South. If they put this at 20%, I, have, I don't know that any quarterback's ever going to hit that. And, and if they do, it's going to be very, very few guys who do. Because you're talking about, uh, again, a $40 million quarterback at a $200, $200 million salary cap. You know, who's getting that? It, it may be I – don't, I don't think Dak's going to hit $40 million, uh, this Obviously not this year. And if he signs an extension with the Cowboys – Dak this, after the break. Dak after the break. Okay, I don't think Deshaun Watson is going to hit $40 million per year on this extension. I think maybe unless he ties it to the cap like Mahomes. So I I think that 20% is at that number where he's not going to be passed really by anyone. I think he would probably be in the top five, if not the top three of QB salaries, uh, if if he's making 20% of the salary cap for the rest of his career. Yeah, but we don't know the details on that. Well, it could be a Calvin Johnson situation. Remember, like, for a long time, wide receivers were paid X, 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 and you got, you got moved up and you were the top of the guy. And then Calvin Johnson just blew it out of the water, and no one even tried to top Calvin Johnson because he was Megatron and he was just the best. And so there could be a tacit acknowledgement from everybody involved here, uh, including those other quarterbacks you mentioned and the teams and the agents that, hey, look, you know, we want to get close to Patrick Mahomes, but we understand we can't actually top Patrick Mahomes. I do, I do think – that this, if it is in fact tied to the salary cap, and that's you know Jason Lockerfor has reported, Adam Schefter's reported. I mean, it seems fair to say that that's that's the deal. That's that's game changing for NFL players. Well, no, no, no. It's game changing for one NFL player. 
that NFL player is Patrick. You don't Mahomes. think anybody else can ask for that? I mean, Aaron Rodgers was going to want oh, to. A lot of people can ask for it, but I mean, as you point out, this guy could be the best quarterback ever. Kirk Cousins got a three-year deal, all guaranteed, eighty-four, eighty-five million, I think. That's not even the same conversation. He's making four and a half times more than than Kirk Cousins. Yeah, I guess it's a little different though because Kirk Cousins was a, like a true free agent, and you know, it was like signing a three-year deal. I mean, this is like a this is a this is not a. It's not the, th- the tender date. I mean, this is, this is a uh, – Let me put it this way. Like, I love, love, love Lamar Jackson. As I pointed out, I was the first one to be on the L- Lamar Jackson mm. MVP bandwagon before anyone on planet Earth, even Lamar Jackson. But I'm not paying him a, 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 a proportion of the a salary cap just because of the way he plays. Like, Patrick Mahomes doesn't take a lot of hits. Lamar Jackson does. So yeah, sure. I mean, Lamar Jackson was the MVP last year because Patrick Mahomes missed time with injury. Well, yeah, because he fell down and someone landed on his knee. <laughs> That's like saying Ben Roethlisberger is an athlete because his arm, his elbow failed. You know what's funny about Ryan saying he wouldn't give Lamar Jackson a long-term deal is uh, out of those two guys. Oh, I didn't say that. I said as no, a no, a ten-year deal, a ten-year deal, as right. a proportion of the salary cap. But out of those two guys, Ryan, who has missed more games due to injury, Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> That's the same thing Brisson just said. Why are you doubling up on him? <laughs> because I want to hear the dunk noise again. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Yeah. Who's missed more games, Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I miss right now? Sean. <laughs> Dude, when are we going to follow him back? I we'll follow tell him you after the break. So, Ryan, you already followed him back? Yeah, he, he uh, sent me oh, a – Oh, come on. Well, he sent me a – it's funny. He, he responded and said, um, this is 100% Brinson's idea, right? And I said, 1,000%. And they're like, no, no, it wasn't. It was actually, you have to listen to the podcast tomorrow to find out whose idea it was. Oh, that's right. Idea. That's right. We came up with it in the middle of the edge ranking. So just to peel back the, pull back the curtain, peel back the onion, I guess, whatever it is. Uh, Ryan and I were recording the Edge Defensive Line uh, Rankings podcast. And, in fact, Ryan asked me a question. This is kind of funny. Ryan asked me a question. And I didn't hear the question he asked me because I, was, I, I saw an alert on my phone that I thought was breaking news. Um, and then, as we were talking about Chris Jones, the, uh, we actually got the alert about Patrick Mahomes, which was kind of wild to have that actually happen. Um, so, as, as, anyway, yeah, listen to that show. You can find out whose idea it was to unfollow Sean. You already followed him back. Yeah, you know how I am. feel bad for him. Couldn't let the joke. You had to get, did he text you? No, he just sent me a tweet. It's on there. Uh, he added me. But he's at 3,399, so he's probably upset that he's still stuck at 99. Nice. So you guys want to fall back in a hurry. Um, as Adam Schefter points out, the Patrick Mahomes extension, the lowest it could be worth is $427.6 million over the 12 years. So, I mean, so the report is that from Schefter that it's uncertain how much more over $400 million it will be. I guess that's – and by the way, this kind of sucks for us, selfishly. It's going to be a little bit more difficult than it has been in the past to discuss quarterback salaries if multiple guys are tied to the salary gap. Uh, and also, what is interesting, if the number ends up being $427 million over 12 years, obviously, as Schefter said, it could go above that $400 million, then you tack on the 27 and a half that he had left. But let's just say that is the number. That is an average of 35.58 per year, which barely puts him above Russell Wilson. Obviously, his new money average blows everything out of the window, but when you look at his overall average, which you do once the whole contract's been meshed together, now he he just went in there and barely beat Russell Wilson, which makes the deal a little bit more interesting as far as affecting uh, other quarterback negotiations. So it does sound like maybe it could be what I suggested, that it's a X salary locked in and then – a bonus tied to the salary cap that you get each year. That, that bumps what if up. it's the case that this backfires on Mahomes' agent that we've been, we didn't know the terms and we've been talking like 500 million. Why not? And it ends up being 38 and a half million dollars a year on average, based on the numbers we know. And everyone's going to be like, this is insanely low for the best player in football. If they didn't get, I mean, look, I don't want to bag on, you know, the guy who represented the father of somebody on this podcast. But if the Steinberg guys didn't get $40 million a year for Patrick Mahomes, that's not great. No, that's crazy. He's got at least $40 million a year in new money. That's like, that is the target you want. 
it's it's an extension of the rookie contract. That is what it is because he had to sign it. Yeah, so but- it like it's not Steinberg's fault that the rookie contract is 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 what it is. You can't even negotiate that. You just you're stuck with what you have. Mm. Yeah, but four twenty over twelve doesn't look as good as four fifty over ten. Well, just high. think about it. If this extension would have been done at the, <laughs> two years from now, when Mahomes' rookie deal was up, and it was straight up uh, forty million a year, or blew past the highest paid person by five million dollars a year, no, we I would be saying this is insane. This is an incredible deal. I understand the math, but I mean, it, I feel like Do you, though, Ryan. Do you? Maybe I don't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I think the biggest thing here is guaranteed money, which we haven't really talked about. Like, how much do you think Mahomes is going to get when he puts his name on the contract? Is he getting 150 million? What's that upfront payment uh, going to be? Because I think the highest is like 110. Is that Russell? Did Russell get the 110? Because Kirk Where's got the 85. All completely guaranteed. guaranteed. Because Russell got a lot of – what is Russell's deal? I mean, if it's like 300 – again, if it's $300 million, we can't do $300 million. How much can you do on a guaranteed deal? Because it can't be more than the well, – you can spread it out over the soccer. Jared yeah. Goff's practical guarantee, which is mean that's almost certain, 99% chance he's going to get that much. It was $110 million. But okay. then the, the other metric is guaranteed at signing, which is the amount of money you get as soon as you sign your contract. So, like, if you – uh, you know, lost a leg in a car accident six months after signing the contract, you still get all that money. Uh, that is Matt Ryan, who got $94.5 million here. I mean, the bottom line is, and this is just the unfortunate part about this business sometimes, and by the way, the longer it takes for the numbers to actually leak out, the more team favorable they usually are. You know, you know what I mean? Don't you agree? Yeah, but like you said, if it's a, if it's a, once we figure out the percentage, it's hard to tell what that's going to look like six, seven, eight years from now. Well, if it's, if it's, I mean, if it's four, but I'm just saying if it's, if it's 40 million, is it $40 million guaranteed per year, like regardless of the salary cap? And then like if the salary cap goes up X, it becomes 45. I mean, this going to be a pain in the ass to figure out. Uh, anyway, all right, let's, so, but the, what I was saying is that it takes because of the, just the, how long it takes for the money to come out. Sometimes it is difficult to discuss these, immediately after because you are waiting for those numbers to be released and really it doesn't matter what anybody is reporting until the actual contract somebody's able to get their hands on the actual contract and dive into it that'll probably happen in the next 24 hours so i'm sure we will talk about that again in the future okay so how does this affect dak prescott uh i'm not going to ask you john breach because you are corrupt hacked robot (laughs) that jerry jones destroy like jerry jones programs you to toss up propaganda for the dallas cowboys patrick mahomes deal is a great news for dak prescott and the cowboys it means they can sign him to whatever they want take the money and run dak that's breach bot 3000 ryan what do you think how do you think this affects dak prescott and jerry jones well you were on hq with with me and and breach and breach made the point that this is great news for jerry jones because jerry jones can make dak prescott sign a 10-year deal if that's what uh Dak wants in terms of making $40 million a year. My response was, well, Dak can say, no, I'm not going to sign anything. I'll play up my contract, uh, pull a Joe Flacco, and, and make a lot more money in the open market. Uh, uh, Dak Prescott could, could play slightly above average next year and, and still make a ton of money. And, yes, you can franchise him again, but he can just sit out. I, I mean, he's going to make $31 million this year. What are, what are you doing the Fonzie point for, Breach? I'm doing the Fonzie point because you guys conflated my two points. I said that, yes – Jerry Jones. This is a good thing for Jerry Jones, but I absolutely agree with you guys that now this is even more of a reason that Dak Prescott should play on the franchise tag and wait till his salary jumps Patrick Mahomes, and then you do your extension because you're not going to take less than what you have. Yes, I agreed with you on at the end of HQ in my last part. I said if I'm Jerry Jones, though, I am saying, look, we'll give you forty million right now. Fire us as theoretical sports agents, and then we then we on your face. And yeah, but then you missed the dunk. That's what happened. You missed the dunk and fell on your face, and now you have stitches, and you lost all your teeth. <laughs> no, we, that's, well, that's, that's how this like, happened, man. I'm signed him to 10 years, 400 million right now. That sounds great. We didn't even know the numbers then. No, that that's what I'm – so if I am Jerry Jones, I just see this contract. Now you call Dax agent, and you say, look, man, Patrick Mahomes just got 10 years, 400 million. We'll give you that – we'll give you 10 years, 400 million. Okay, Dad. Dad I, done that immediately. Breach. What? Let's play, let's play this out, Breach. No, because if it's not tied to the percentage of the salary cap by year five, Dak is going to be complaining that he's underpaid. So, no. Yes. 
40 million for the next 10 years? He won't be underpaid. You think Dak Prescott would take that deal? I, I, I would take it. Yeah, I'm I saying think Dak Prescott would take that in a heartbeat. I see. I'm not sure he would because by so he, if he gets tagged in 2021, right? Yeah. The salary goes up 44. percent Then he becomes a free agent. He's going to get more than 40 million per year. So Jerry Jones should try to lock him at 10 years. Maybe he says yes. You're saying he should say yes, and I'm saying that. So this is good for Jerry Jones because now he has kind of a shell to work with. But also, it's good for Dak because he can set, he can take the security of the ten years, or or he can take the risk, play on the tag for two years, and make more than forty million. So, it's good for both of them. You take the four hundred million dollars. You like, uh, you know what? A, a four hundred million dollar bird in hand is better than a forty one million dollar bird in the bush. That's a that's a real thing. I Let me ask you this before. then. I I, I don't I so don't. Agree. You, who has a bird in the hand? I don't know. Pr- Pilgrims? Uh, yeah. <laughs> which, which young quarterback is in the best shape? Dak Prescott, Deshaun Watson, or Lamar Jackson? In terms of being uh, making the most money five years from now. Uh, I would say Lamar Jackson. Just because he's the youngest? Yeah. I mean, he's like super – I think he's younger than Joe Burrow. Youngest in the sense that his contract will be up to last. He, well, he – so like, like Mahomes, he has the MVP – now, he doesn't have any playoff wins, and that's different. But, you know, Mahomes didn't have the Super Bowl until this year. But, like, like Mahomes, he has that MVP in his second year. He has put up explosive numbers. They built the entire offense around him. They're basically gearing the whole franchise for him. I think Lamar Jackson could ask for something similar. And, and I, to your point, Ryan, I don't know that they would necessarily do that, that the Ravens would agree to that. I think Mahomes is, is different just in the sense that he is, he is the face of football. Like he is the face of professional football, and he is he – is, Still just 24 years old. Uh, he'll turn 25 on September 17th. Um, you know, I mean, a 10-year deal for him, like, you just – it's not a big deal. Like, he's going to play out that entire contract. What would you do if your son signed a $400 million deal when he was 24 years old and you were, whatever that makes you, 50 or something, 45? Well, if I was previously a professional baseball player, I'd be like, cool, man. No, no, if you were Bill Brinson, podcaster, what would you do? Uh, no, Robbie's younger than that. So, 15 years from now, Robbie signed a four hundred million dollar deal. Well, if we're still doing this podcast in 15 years, it means something's going right for us. Uh, but I would probably say, uh, "F you, F you, F you." <laughs> I'm out. You're cool. And then I slam my it. computer closed, and that would be my final episode of the Pick Six podcast. And I would and then you would go join Sean at Colorado Law School. I'm not going back to law school. 15 years, Sean's still in law school. Yeah, um, I'm going to sit on. I'm going to. I don't know wherever. Wherever Robbie's playing football, I'm living there, and I'm hanging out at all the games and driving around in a sicko Ferrari. <laughs> Brenton's toupee flapping in the wind. Like, how, how much – like, do you wow. think – Wow, as Debo Chiefs- points out um, in Slack, Pat Mahomes Sr. played 11 MLB seasons, made $2.7 million. Okay, but now that Patrick Mahomes is going to sign this $400 million contract, if you're the Chiefs, are you just maybe slightly more nervous about coronavirus? Like, are you locking Patrick Mahomes up in a basement and telling him he can't leave ever no, I mean, until the season starts? Oh, for the season, sure. But, you know, hopefully we have a, we have a vaccine by late in this year, early 2021. But for the next 11 years, you're all set. I think, I mean, they are in – I would imagine 31 other teams are jealous of the Chiefs and would have happily paid exactly that. Definitely. And I think one weird thing is that Mahomes only going to be 36 at the end of this deal, so he theoretically could get another contract. And the other thing is Andy Reid is going to be 74 years old at the end of this deal. I think the oldest NFL coach ever was 72. So I think – do you guys think Andy Reid is going to be the Chiefs coach at the end of this contract? Do you think he retires halfway through this contract? Like, what do you think this means for Andy Reid? They win two more Super Bowls and he's gone, and that could happen in three years from now. Uh, I would disagree with that. I think I think I think Andy Reid will coach ten years. Twelve? Why? Why would he be seventy-four years old? Because he coach twelve. Everything you hear that Reid now, and we talked we we were talking this about our, our Chiefs podcast earlier this off season. Um, by the way, you can go check out all the all thirty-two podcasts. The Chiefs, the the Patriots ones are a little outdated somehow, uh, but um, the. We were just talking about like Andy Reid's like rejuvenated. Like now that he got that Super Bowl and he knows he's got Mahomes, like he knows he could rip off five more Super Bowls in the next 10 years, more if not. Uh, so we'll get out of here on this. I will, wait, I will say real quick this makes it at least theoretically possible that he catches Belichick, right? I, was I say, mean, Belichick's at five. 
Belichick's at six. So if you win, you think he can win five Super Bowls in the next 12 years? And with Mahomes, I don't think that's crazy. If he does that, he's the best coach and he's the best quarterback, respectively. And that's of all time, Bel- yeah. Belichick yeah. and Brady out of the water. Belichick and Brady will come back in 2035 to reclaim their crown. Uh, and Andy Reid, of course, does have a Super Bowl uh, title as an assistant. Bill Belichick has uh, two of them. Andy Reid got one under Mike Holmgren with the Packers, uh, beating, ironically, the Patriots. And uh, Bill Parcells. Was Belichick on that team with the Patriots? Well, he was in Cleveland. He was in Cleveland then. Uh, okay, so I see this. Give me some numbers here. We'll get out on this one. How many MVPs? How many Super Bowls? How many playoff appearances? Oh, please. Over the full 12 years of Patrick Mahomes' contract. So Start yeah, with playoff appearances. Is it 12? Playoff appearances. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be like the, the Colts and the Patriots. They're going every year. So maybe they miss one playoff appearance because, God forbid, someone gets hurt. Would you take the over under at 10 and a half? Oh, boy. That's a good one. Uh, I'd take the over. Yeah, I would, I would also take the over. I think 11 is minimum. Uh, the only way it's not happening is if Mahomes gets injured. So, like, 11 and a half, you would probably take the under out of principle just because, you know. I would take the under because everything has to go perfect. For right. 12 straight years. Right. Right. I mean, We're going to this podcast in three years when the Chiefs haven't won a game. <laughs> uh, how many MVPs for Patrick Mahomes in the next 12 years? Uh, I'll say over, under three and a half. Four is what I was thinking. Okay. Four seems like the, the highest you can go because there are so many other things that, like John mentioned previously. Or just look at last year. Right, exactly. Not, now, not look, to there's voter fatigue. People don't like to vote for the same guy over and over again, et cetera. So four actually sounds like the high end, maybe too high. I'll go under. I think I was going to say three, so I like – but I think four could make is, sense Is also. three and a half or two and a half a better number? Three and a half yeah. is a good number. Yeah, Peyton, has, Peyton Manning has the most ever with five. Yeah. yeah. Three over 12 years would give him four. I think that's – yeah, I think three and a half is a good number. Marv went three straight? I don't know. In the 90s? Didn't he? I'm pretty sure he did. He won Andy at least Dalton two – he tied with Barry Sanders, I think, in 97. Andy and Dalton doesn't won any. I know that. Uh, why would you ever point that out, Ryan? Yeah, Bar- Favre won in 95, 96, and 97, but he tied yeah, with he Barry three. Sanders in 97. Yeah, and then Peyton showed up in 99 and, and lit it up. Um, also, Mahomes, the other thing with Mahomes, too, is like, remember, Manning was doing all the heavy lifting. So, like, that's the thing, too. It's like, will they win the games because it's all on offense? Will they, you know, will they try and be, a, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, how many Super Bowl wins for the Chiefs in the next 12 years? Over, under, two and a half. I said two. I think way over. I think four. Wow. It's so hard. Think of it. But, John, you talk about this all the time, how lucky the Patriots got and half of those wins, it feels like. Yeah, but I will say this. Number one, they won it this year. They probably should have – you know, they lost that crazy AFC title game against the Patriots in 2018. Um, so that's, that's, well, how, Brady, close they, that's how close they are Brady's to two. Out of the conference now, too. Like, that helps. And then when you look at the AFC, their biggest competition right now is the Ravens, and the Ravens have no idea how to beat the Chiefs. Andy Reid has outcoached John Harbaugh so badly uh, the last three times they face each other, and two with Lamar Jackson, where the games really haven't been that close. And, and so until I, the Ravens can fill that gap, there's, I don't know who their competition is in the AFC. They yeah, I mean, lost to the 49ers. But that's in the NFC. The NFC is going to throw teams at them. But no, I'm just saying how again talking about the luck. I mean, they, yeah, 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 yeah. Game. So they win four out of six. I mean, the, I mean, the Patriots Super could. The Patriots could have won, like if everything went against them, and that just doesn't happen because Belichick's smart and Brady's great. But if everything had gone against them, like like five breaks don't go their way, they could have one Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, if you right. reverse that, they could have nine Super Bowls <laughs> if, if the breaks had gone their way. I agree. I know. So, yeah, my over-under total, including the one they have, is three. Two more. Okay. Oh, including the one they have. Yeah, two more. You're saying, okay, I said two and a half. You say under, Breach says over. I would take the over there as well. I think the Chiefs are the next dynasty, and that's, they know it, and that's why they signed Patrick Mahomes to a 10-year deal. You just – we don't have to worry about this for the next 10 years. We have a – you are locked in with an MVP caliber quarterback for the next decade, assuming that the earth continues to roll on. We can go ahead and schedule the next Patrick Mahomes emergency podcast for July 2031. (laughs) See you guys then.